Once you pick one up, it's hard to put it down. Misplace it, and your heart will likely skip a beat or 10. The Blackberry, so popular, so vital, so addictive. The name, like Google, is used as a verb. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, we're not oxygen, but some people sort of, you know, put us right <laughs> close to oxygen in terms of necessity in life. Jim Balsillie and Mike Lazaridis are the 48-year-old co-CEOs of Research in Motion. RIM, as it's commonly called, is the 25-year-old Canadian company that over the past decade has sold some 65 million smartphones to a current customer base of more than 28 million people worldwide. Three of today's top five selling cell phones in America are Blackberry. Balsillie, open, talkative, a triathloner, is the Harvard MBA and finance guy. You just will not recognize this industry in two, three years. Lazaridis is the reserve scientist who dropped out of the University of Waterloo in 1984 to start a tech company with childhood friend Doug Fregan. It's a consumer product, it's a status symbol, it's a communications appliance. Remind you of any other famous dropout duos in tech? Think Gates and Allen, Jobs and Wozniak. Well, at first, I just want to say that I do not recommend dropping out of university. Mm -hmm. As you look back and reflect uh, on the past 25 years, could you have imagined what you guys have built here? I couldn't have imagined, I don't think anyone could have imagined where we were heading. What we did build is exactly what we envisioned. That vision, homegrown here in Waterloo, has turned RIM into a tech titan and made Balsillie and Lazaridis very rich. They're worth about two and a half billion dollars each. They're not the only ones who've grown wealthy. In the past 10 years, RIM's stock market value has vaulted from 96 million to 42 billion. While the rest of the world is going bust, these companies were booming. Your company is hot. How do you stay hot? Big sales, earnings, and stock market gains. It's pretty incredible. Who survived? Who thrived in one of the worst economic climates in history? When the economy comes back, our business will be strong. CNBC and Fortune magazine go inside the hot profit engines that could make you rich. The fastest growing companies of 2009, August 19th on CNBC.